So that's two days down. We have arrived at our second overnight stop at the Kikalewa campsite. We sit at 3,600 meters, so we climbed from 2.6 to 3.6 today. It was a tough day. Um, took 8 hours and 50 minutes. We did stop for a fairly lengthy lunch, so the total walking time was probably in the vicinity of 7 hours, just over. And a lot of it was on really difficult terrain, a lot of rocks and uh, gravel, fairly sharp for long periods. And so it was, uh, it was the kind of day maybe that we needed now. Um, the guides and the porters are saying that what we walked on today is quite similar to what we'll encounter on summit day. So in that sense, as hard as it was and as tender as the feet feel right now, I'm, I'm quite optimistic that we've, we've at least seen what we're in for. Uh, Temperature-wise, interestingly enough, or ironically enough, the, the biggest issue today was actually that the ground was too hot. There were points where the sun was directly overhead uh, the temperatures hit 30 degrees Celsius and the ground actually probably was significantly warmer than that and it actually burnt our feet a little. Uh, so I'm encouraged by that because if it can get that hot at 3,600 then even though we're climbing another 2,000 uh, I'm, I'm quite hopeful that the ground will also be heated enough for us to walk on it fairly safely on summit day. So another reason to be optimistic. And then thirdly, so far so good with regards to altitude and I know that we're only at 3.6 but this is kind of the uh, the height at which the problems would start to develop and so far no one in the team has had any problems at all. I mean everyone knows that, uh, that they're at altitude because they find that they're breathless at a slow walking pace but there are no headaches, there's no uh, nausea, there's nothing at all to suggest any problems. We'll obviously assess that in the morning and then tomorrow we head up uh, to what's called Mowenzi Peak. Um, we don't quite get to the top of that but we get uh, to a campsite on those slopes and we'll spend the night there at 4,300 meters. And then what we do on day five is we traverse across, day four rather, apologies, is we traverse across to a campsite called Kibo, which sits at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. And then we'll be making our summit attempt on Saturday, not Sunday as initially was planned, because the weather's been so good and we'd be foolish not to take advantage of it, because it can really only get worse. So we want to get up and down as, as quickly as we can. It's all good so far. Uh, as I said, the last the last two hours of this day were, were very tough. I mean, the feet were very tender, and uh, I was hurting. But uh, but got to camp, and I think in the morning it'll be good as new. And luckily, it's a short day tomorrow, only three and a half hours, so that'll that'll help. And uh, yeah, so despite it being an honest day, it's an optimistic day for those three reasons. Right now, it's dinner time, and then time to to get some sleep and rest. We'll chat again tomorrow.